Hey, thank you so much for this award. My name is Hannah Epstein, and let me show you what I do. This is a Venn diagram of my practice. In it, you can see that my work combines folklore, technology, and textiles. I am always trying to make work that exists in the dead center of these overlapping interests. For example, the rug hooking falls between folklore and textiles. But what is rug hooking? You need seven basic tools if you want to start rug hooking. Place your burlap over your frame and use your T-pins to hold it down. If you have your hook and your yarn, you're ready to start rug hooking. Let's go! With your yarn underneath and use your hook to pull up. You've just created a loop. Move to the hole next to the one you were just in and make another. Just remember, keep hooking. Because I use so much rug hooking in my work, I'm often trying to fuse it with my other interest in technology to hit that central sweet spot. In my 2017 thesis show, I created a series of these hooked YouTube screens which hung in the space with rear projection. The projection encouraged viewers to text a phone number and interact with the content they were seeing. Later that summer, I created a rug hooked arcade cabinet. Two players would hold the controllers and when they touched, it would trigger an animation. I started framing my rug hooked pieces with projection mapped animations in late 2018, early 2019. Here's an example from an installation, Do You Want a Free Trip to Outer Space? For this show, I wrote and rug hooked an entire comic book, as well as some planets and characters from the book. In this rug, the main character, Super Chill, is being asked by an alien to go kill some evil clouds. Right next to it is an arcade cabinet where you can play as the character shooting those clouds. The core of my practice is experimenting with interaction. This is a piece I did for the Refinery29 Art Park. It's a two-sided rug that's suspended in the middle of a gyroscope. People can play with it, spin it around in every direction, and ask a question, and it can land heads or tails. Last year I was experimenting with AI and textiles as well. Working with a computer program in New Zealand, I had her train an AI to produce predictions of future pieces I might make. What you're watching right now is what the computer AI came up with. I then printed some of those select images and stuffed them, effectively collaborating with the AI, making its predictions of future work a reality. What else is there? Because rug hooking is such a time-consuming activity, I also built an Illustrator program that would allow me to quickly prototype and render images that have the rug hooking texture to them. See another one doing the zombie walk? She's really screwed up. So my newest project since COVID, the one that I'm most excited about, is the introduction of sound into pieces. Whenever I do a show, people ask if it's okay to touch the work. Now I'm hoping to do an entire show where they can do just that. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you so much for the award and congrats to everyone else who won as well. Bye.